Is this on? Yes, it is. Hey guys, how are we doing? This is a very chill video by the way. Today for Life of a Gem video, which we haven't done for about two weeks, I think, or about three weeks, what we are doing is an unboxing. Let me sit on these pillows, prop myself up better. Okay, that's much better. It's a chill video. Like I said, all I just want to do is appreciate everybody who really made me feel like a gem my birthday you'll be seeing this on tuesday night and for those in nigeria wednesday morning my birthday was sunday which is my own yesterday 13th of october was just a blast for me i got so much love than i could have ever really imagined because i was thinking of doing a video where i'll call it the main character episode for life of a gem and what I was thinking about for that video was to do a video where <laughs> I tell a few people, like my family, my friends, to do a 30 second recording talking about me, talking about something they like about me or something and then I'll put it into one video and post it as a YouTube video. That was the idea I had and I wanted to title it the main character episode or i think something in that line definitely not the narcissistic episode that would be totally totally off and negative and just through the entire video of balance but i wanted to call it the main character episode that's the episode where i allow myself to feel like the main character in my life because for my birthday right i just thought about it and i'm like <laughs> This is really my kind of person. It's really not my kind of person. It's just an idea that came and I felt it to be fun. So I like, just hear what you had to say about me. So I just said, no, Abek, what kind of nonsense is that? What the heck? Telling people to do a, a video where I'm telling them, say nice things about me in 30 seconds. Not really like telling them say nice things, but just telling them, okay, say something about you, about me, about Jemima in 30 seconds. <laughs> I felt that would be kind of cringy so I didn't end up doing that. So I just did pictures and a video that we recorded just randomly. My friend helped me. I wanted to employ the services of Formula Your Clicks. You'll be seeing that vlog on Friday where I talk about like the whole birthday process and things we planned. Formula is the one that took my pictures for Afro Gems. I wanted to employ her services but I actually could not afford it. Her price is good. In fact, I'm sure she even brought it down for me because I've done something with her but at that point I had other expenses that needed to be taken care of and her price is good and everything but I just could not afford it. So my friend Miriam was just kind enough to take my pictures and my videos for me and they are so good. I attached some pictures here we took it with her iPhone I edited the video myself found a good sound on IG on YouTube and we made it work people that I did not tell to do that whole 30 seconds video whatever about me talking about me did so themselves not video form but in speech in writing people posting my picture saying so many things <laughs> people already of course in nigeria were already my birthday before me which was a crazy dynamic which was, i was laughing about because just imagine people get to see your birthday tell you happy birthday when you you're not yet in your birthday time difference it can be a very funny thing happening people were already just telling me happy birthday from my own 12th of october people in nigeria were already wishing me so well uh it just came to my mind to look for these akia popo memes and just laugh about the fact that on your birthday so many people say so many good things about you that even you yourself you are surprised about i posted uh, this is when that they talk that true i don't know if i will still have this those pictures so that i can screenshot and place them on the screen let me check <laughs> oh no it's, it's gone now it's past 24 hours i posted about three of those akia popo memes <laughs> I just cracked up myself by myself for about 30 seconds laughing at that thing I posted like on my own I was just laughing about it Akia Popo's expression and the caption I put uh, this is what that they talk that true or something like that or like on your bed they simply lie about you in good ways that like you yourself can't believe things like that the love was just so tremendous people writing so many lovely things how oh, like how she has a very good spirit very kind. I was telling me, I see this person say me America. Me that I'm very wicked. <laughs> <laughs> see, people 
people have been saying, oh, she's very good, she's very kind. I said, am I the weekend? <laughs> And he said, no, 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 no. Yeah, go ahead. Ah, now, cause I had out, maybe with my bad character. <laughs> People were really so lovely with their comments. And they say, when you hear something from the mouth of many people, more than two or three people, whether it's good or it's bad, it's actually true. So, for the fact that so many people were saying, oh, such a, such a good, kind person, ah, oh, yeah, now. Let me actually start telling myself that I have a good and kind person. <laughs> so yeah, that's how yesterday went. This video is also an unboxing of gifts that I got. I want to start celebrating my life more. I know I've been in spaces in my head where I like look at other people's lives and I'm just not grateful. Not like I'm not grateful to God for being alive, but grateful for the life I live. Not in the fact that, oh, thank you, Jesus, for the life I live. No. Grateful in the sense of getting joy from who I am and the life that I live. Do you understand it? It's not a perfect life. It's not a life that I want for myself at this point in time. There are things I want for myself I don't have yet. But just that fulfillment in what you have now. I found myself in the past not taking cognizance of it and not being grateful for it enough. And in the past few months or so, I've been working on myself in that aspect to really just love the life that you live. There's no life that is better than the one you have now. And that's something I want to always preach to anybody that comes close to me. There is no life another person has that is better than you, the life you live than the life you have yes they have more things they may have more things you may be doing more things but your life is yours to live and what's the use of a life you cannot live their life is theirs so you can't live their life so how do you think that life that they are living which you cannot live is better than the life you are living now the life you have an experience you cannot experience it can't be the best because you are not experiencing it so how can you say it's the best or it's better than the experiences you are having in your own life that you are creating and that you can influence that you can change if you don't like it you can change your own experience so how can you say the life of somebody else is like better than your own just because you feel like there are things you don't have there are things you are aspiring to that you don't have yet that is something that we all need to instruct in, instru introspect <laughs> about and really change that mentality sometimes when you yourself you don't realize so that people that will not be reminding you and that's actually what my birthday was like an eye opener that, oh really this is how much i've affected people's lives some of us just live on autopilot we just do things just talk to people encourage them do things for them speak with them gift things to them and we don't really take cognizance of what we are doing it's just oh, it's just life okay let's just let's just do let's just do but what you are doing really affects people before it even affects people it affects your own life the more good you do the more good you do that kind word that laughter that encouragement that prayer that gift that service that goodwill that well wish that you render whatever you are doing as a christian i will also chip in the fact that in the bible it says do it as unto the lord you may have done wrong to you but you keep doing good for them why because whatever you do just do it as unto the lord just look beyond human you do me i do you because really at the end of the day what do we have that we don't have from god <sighs> that's it so i turned a year older I don't know what to say about the year. Of course, I turned 21 again. It's an inside joke. If you don't know what that's about, maybe you need to start following me on more of my socials. <laughs> so I turned 21 again. I don't know how it feels. The 21 I turned this year. Of course, it's different from the 21 I turned last year and it's different from the 21 I'll turn next year. That thing of getting older. Getting older is a reminder that there are still things that you've not done. But then we forget that it's also the reminder that we are not dead. So would you rather be dead than go older? Would you rather just die now as you are young, you are fresh, your skin is still supple than grow older? I've had friends who died in school, in university. I always remember that because it almost felt like a back-to-back -back thing. Like, 
we come first semester people who schooled with me who are watching this they know what i'm talking about and i'm not kidding it was almost like one semester after the other we're losing people in our department i studied english and jury studies by the way from the prestigious niger delta university so every semester we're losing somebody every semester in that department either if it was from year one or year two or year three year four we're losing people even from my set we lost so many people one of them was one of my closest friends these people they also had dreams all of that is gone now they are with god you are here and you're just anxious about at the end of the day what is most important is life is that life that you have that makes you able to have it tomorrow so would you rather lose that life now than see the tomorrow which is the future which is you growing older which is you one day you wake up and your skin is not as fresh there'll be wrinkles can bend as quickly would you rather lose that life now lose all those hopes which you can never ever have if you lose your life now lose all those achievements which you could attain if you live on to tomorrow if you die now you won't get them but you will die with your fresh skin so which of the bargain sides will you rather be on that's one thing we should ask ourselves when we are like kind of feeling a rut and in a place where we're just like so scared and anxious for the future we want to see tomorrow therefore we should not be scared of growing older nobody lives this life alive at the end of the day so the only way to go is up or forward the only way to go is older it's a blessing to grow older but that doesn't mean i'm not still 21 though <laughs> and i'll not still be 21 next year but it is a blessing and i'm grateful for all those who in tangible ways made me see that blessing that it was in the wishes in the prayers in the uh, reposting of my pictures and part of those tangible things that i got that are gifts and monetary items to start with the first gift i got because it's money my brother sent me money my eldest brother i'm so grateful thank you so much for that money he sent me because i was out where spending money so that money just came as a replenishment of like part of the money we spent so thank you so much i got myself pizza that i've been craving every dollar counts i know it seems like an insincere thing to say because you know the view people have of america you live in a place where views are like pew, 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 every month pew, 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 and somebody squeezes out something to give to you you should really be appreciative so i'm so grateful for my brother for what he sent to me thank you brother i love you so much so let's go to the other physical items i got i got this sweater i don't know if it's called a fleece i don't want to say that man i think i'm wrong let me be sure what is a fleece jacket my subconscious is kind of attaching it to this so why is that so let me see what the fleece jacket looks like i don't think it is that but let me be sure it's actually a fleece jacket you see the brain the brain is a very funny organ let me just put this in let me just chip this in as an aside i aim to start talking more about brain psychology but not yet i don't know when maybe next year by god's grace i don't know because i want to go into more depths of who i am things that interest me and one of the most intriguing things to me is psychology psychological issues the brain the mind the intellect cognition things like that we'll get into that sometime but not now so i got this fleece jacket from my mom so beautiful we have something indigo we have a dark purple like thing going on here we have a kind of light blue also we have pockets and it's perfect because we are gradually getting into the colder season I love the patterns i can already see how i'm going to style this next thing i got was from miriam miriam really went out and a boo for me yesterday i really felt the love miriam god bless you we have twigs um chocolates definitely going to eat this now i'm trying to work on my diet and i've actually cut out a lot of all these chocolate things that have been making me add so much weight and i think i'm gradually getting into my goals for my body one of my better pictures i look so puffed up my friend was saying oh i look like serena williams with the, with the muscles and that made me happy i won't lie because like i've really been going at it i've been i've been taking my exercise seriously been cutting out most of the sugar but once in a while i allow myself so i'm definitely going to love eating this and then there's also this oatmeal cookies i'll put this downstairs for everybody to have a taste of so this oatmeal cookies and these days i'm looking more at the back it's like talking about the nutritional content 
calorie counts and all calorie count is 120 for two cookies so that means one cookie is like 60 calories two cookies 120 calories and per pack you have about 12 sevens so 12 sevens that's like 24 so if you eat this entire thing you'll be eating calories of like just multiply 120 times 24 not wise to eat that much calories eating cookies is not bad but you should not eat too many cookies why what are you doing just eat like three or two and you're good of course with your exercise and your whole meal that has a lot of fiber protein all of that i don't really know much i actually follow people who do these things so if you are interested follow them they have more information so follow people who will help you really she also gave me this very lovely oh it's a plush th oh this is for my bed i thought it was a towel but it's not you put it like over your bed or over your chair nice interesting color interesting i'm leaning more into warm tone so this would be like a really good pop of color for my white bed sheets it's nice because it's unique it's not a color i would buy for myself which is why i even love it more because it's like it's interesting i really like that it's a, a warm red is this red i really don't know colors though okay it says it's red oh, thank god it's embossed embossed red i hope that's the that's how embossed is pronounced i don't know and then i have these bath bombs Ooh, fancy it's from spa luxury vanilla um, i don't know if the thing is focusing properly vanilla sugar scent i like anything in vanilla so this is lovely two bath bombs i'll use this on a day when i'm just ready to relax dissolve this in the bath and get in and soak in she gave me this candle called threshold i think that's the brand name mm, it smells yeah it does smell like guava so it says red mandarin and guava definitely guava i like guava fruits especially very ripe guava fruits which i've not had in a long time and it says notes of sugared grapefruit and marine waters so scented candle i told her i don't usually use candles my room is rugged so i've been scared to actually use candles like scented candles but i'm definitely gonna start with this because she said her room is also rugged but she uses candles it's just you have to be more cautious and careful the next one is this body wash oh thank god i wouldn't need to buy my body wash when one i have finishes so it's also from spa luxury which i think is the same yeah the same brand as the bath bombs so this is from spa luxury and of course it's vanilla mm, does smell like vanilla it smells like oh, vanilla like biscuits or chocolates that's so nice ah, thank you these are so so many thoughtful these are thoughtful gifts guys i love people who are thoughtful like you just think of somebody and you select you select gifts for them like specific gifts those are i love thoughtful people she also got me kids cards uh lovely so now i have two chocolates to eat. all the goals i've accomplished in these past three weeks maybe this is the week where i'll just indulge and just finish all these chocolates i don't know if i'll put this one downstairs i'll be kind of stingy with this one so i think i'll keep these chocolates for myself so i can think of her while i'm eating them alone maybe watching a movie or something last thing in my gift bag is this eos share butter to farm moisture body lotion do you know why i'm so happy about this because i've been seeing so many people talking about this on tiktok and now i have mine i've been thinking about buying but one thing about me is when everybody's talking about something i'm like i beg is it that serious but now i've really been sold on because so many people talk about it and this is also vanilla cashmere so let me open it right now and do a smell test everybody says it smells so nice oh yeah come out now mm -hmm. finally came out mm. oh yeah oh, let's do a test to scent test everybody has been talking about this cream on tiktok mm, it does smell good though it smells like vanilla so just imagine me using these three things in one day i'll be smelling good enough to eat up or 
I think I'll I get a hype now. So I'll be adding this to my oil. I use a body oil because I tend to have like dry skin. At least on the rest of my skin. My face will get oily, but my body will be dry. So I'll be mixing it with my oil that I already use. Mm, it does smell like I'm not a very surface kind of vanilla. Like it's like deep into your factory senses like that kind of deep vanilla that's how it smells so these are all the many things that Miriam go for me Miriam I'm so grateful I'm going to put these away I'm expecting two more gifts but <laughs> this video is over already so I, I may just talk about them in passing sometime I'm so grateful to everyone I know one or two of my friends in Nigeria asked for my account number to send me something but I was like no 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 I can't receive something from you no 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 I would I would sleep well knowing because of exchange rates like they are no I said no don't worry <laughs> don't worry just your well which is a no I definitely refused refused to, to take money from them that's hard to say no thank you so much I was so thoughtful of everybody well wishes everything i'm so grateful so this is all for life of a gen video today talking about life talking about being grateful for life talking about growing older and how we are not supposed to be anxious about growing older because growing older is a blessing would you rather not be here than to actually be here tomorrow maybe with a few wrinkles here and there but you're actually here tomorrow would you rather not be here today so always ask yourself that and i think you will have your answer and then you will see how much lovely life is and again also remember to love the life that is yours love 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 the life that is yours and as i'm saying that to you i'm also saying it to myself as a reminder love the life that is yours like love it with all of your heart you can affect the life that is yours you can change the life that is yours if you don't like it if you can influence the life that is yours but if you do not love it first you'll be doing all of this out of a very negative mindset that will not benefit you in the long run but doing it with a positive mindset is what you need thank you so much for watching remember to like share subscribe leave a comment all of that good stuff send in your birthday wishes i'll stay accepting wishes maybe until next week <laughs> i'll see you in my next one See you Friday.